Hello, boys and girls. We're back again. <laughs> Lots of things have happened since we were here, right? Uh, Some I can... snow came. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. The snow people thought we needed some more snow, so we got it. Nice, wet, heavy stuff. Yes. But hey, a lot of that's going to. Yes. Our boys played down at Des Moines, and uh, although they didn't win, they played well, and we're proud of them. Very as proud of them. as uh, yeah, we're proud of them. I uh, Josh was in church Sunday, and I said to him, one of the things you have to remember is this: your band of people, your band of brothers that played ball, can be your friends for life. I said I started school in 1960 to become a nurse, and those people are still my friends, and nobody can take that experience that you had yeah. down there away from you, and so cherish it and keep working on it. So just you kids yeah. can learn that too. Uh, good times are things you want to remember. Yes, it wasn't fun to lose, but but not that doesn't happen all the time, yeah. that you're the winner. And it, 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 the main thing is that you go down and play. It was fun to go down and, yeah, just to yes. go down there, be with your friends. Yes. To watch the game. Yes, you and know. cheer for yes. those of you who were sitting there cheering. I've done that for many a time, too. So it's all good. So I'm happy about that. And, um, yeah, we'll wait until next year. There's always next There's year always to next do year. better, and that's, that's for us, too. And that's kind of a funny way to lead into what we're doing. Are you ready for this slide into okay. our lesson? Okay. Hit, All right. Hit me. Okay. It's talking about telling the truth. Okay, wait a minute. We were just talking about the basketball game. How, yep. does, this, how does this all work? Together? Well, if you're if you're uh, wanting to keep yourself from being, um, mm, what can I say? Now that word is gone out of my head. I guess I'm getting too old sometimes. It but if you too. want to, you don't want to lie about anything. So don't start by saying, well, if he played better or if, okay. yes, mm -hmm. right. You, you can't do that. Doing you, all these supposing things. Suppose yes. this would have happened. Or suppose right. suppose this would. that would have happened. And we can't go there. It didn't happen that it way. It didn't happen that way. And so we have to always tell the truth about the situation. Right. And the truth there is they played to the best of their ability at that moment. Right. That's right. just like the the um, Hawkeye basketball game. You don't like Hawkeye. No, oh, you don't even know how crazy I am. I put the shirt on, I cover myself up with a Hawkeye blanket, and we sit there and scream, Braxton and I. And yes, yes, I love the Hawkeyes. And I, yeah, the last game too. They didn't play quite as well as they could, but for that moment, the other team was playing better, mm -hmm. and that's what happened. And we're going to see them again, just like next year. We won't see Owen, and we won't see Josh, but right. we'll see a new crop a new of kids group. come. Yep. Yes, and they will all have the good memories, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay, if we're going to get on to telling the truth, some of the things right here on this page are kind of good. Mm -hmm. I don't see, I looked on here, Angie, and I don't see who the author of this is. I looked at mm. it at home, I no, really neither. did not go back to the computer to pull up more things. I'd say it's probably on the front page of all of our lessons uh, or right, something. Right, right, and it's just from Kids Corner yep. that they did this. They they had a whole bunch of these lessons, but I think they do a marvelous job. They're, they're don't very they? nice. They're easy to understand. They're easy to understand. They're not terribly long. No, um, no, compact if that's the word. And they're. And there they have preparing for Easter, and that's right. what we're doing, yep. getting ready for Easter. Getting ourselves sort of cleaned up. Yeah. 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 So that we can be ready to, on, on uh, I was going to say Christmas, oh dear, mm. on Easter, Easter that we can say Christ is risen, and then the other person says, He, he is, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. So we can get excited about that if we get these areas of our lives cleaned up. So the one today is telling us, Telling lies is never 
worth it. Nope. It, it may seem like a, an easy way out at oh, the time. Yes. Yes. But yeah, it's it's kind of like it, all the other things we've been talking about. It right. just doesn't pay to do it. No. In the long no. run, you're going to get found out. Yes. There will be a punishment. And yeah, and, and God sees it. Yes. And it's wrong. Yes. And sometimes so, the internal, the the conscience, what we feel the inside person, in our bellies afterwards. Right. Right, and maybe our heads hurt a little bit because we're thinking about all of this um, stuff that if we just cleaned it up, straightened it out, Cause, fixed cause it. It seems like when you tell one lie, Sometime. pretty soon you have to tell another lie to cover that one yes. or another one, and then mm -hmm. these spread out, and you just got lies going all over like spider webs. Yes, yes. And, and you can't get out of that spider web. Nope. You're stuck in there. Nope. And it's, it's, it gets messy. Yes, it does. And here's something, too. You might get something that you want right now when you tell yep. a lie. Yep. No, I didn't have two cookies a while ago. Mom says, but somebody ate two cookies. Well, it wasn't me. So she has the choice there of believing you or giving you the cookie that you're asking for, and then maybe one of your siblings doesn't get one. Or you've already had two cookies, and mom chooses to believe that you only had one cookie, right. mm -hmm. and so you get another cookie, mm -hmm. and that cookie was the one that kind of upset the apple cart, maybe. Oh, there too. You know? Yes. Three cookies yes. is too many, and yes. now you have a stomach yes. ache. Yep. Well, how yep. come two cookies give you a stomach ache? They usually don't. Don't. Right. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay, well, now we have another lie starting. Yep. You know, you got to come up with something else to think of. But, 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 but I, but I. <laughs> yeah, but. Yeah, have but. you ever heard of the yabbits? Oh, yabbits. There's a There's lot, a of, lot yabbits. of yabbits. Yeah, but I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, but you did too. Yes, you did. Yeah, but. And see how that can just roll and like a snowball. Mm -hmm. Right? Isn't, I mean, we've got that now. In fact, this afternoon, Bella made a snow yeah. out there all it by herself. Yeah, sticks together pretty good it out there right now. sticks together pretty good. Yes. So you tell one little thing, maybe a snowball this size, before you know it, it can't even get down the aisle of this church because that lie keeps growing. It just keeps growing. And it, it, the other thing that can happen to Angie is then when people, when people sort of think, wait a minute. Um, wait a minute, you said what? That's the truth, and they don't believe it, mm -hmm. and then people stop trusting what you, you, you say. You lose their respect. You lose We've their respect. We talked about respect last yes. time. Oh, here, I yeah. finally did my homework. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I did my homework. Colorful. Respect I did. others. I did, yes. But I, others I, cannot respect you if you if don't you tell don't, them the truth. If right. you're lying all the time, they're not going to respect you. No, no. And that's part of being respectful right. is telling the truth. Right. 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 Yep. So anyway, and even if they don't know that you lied, the thing is, God you knows. know you did too. Yes. So and God, God does too. God knows too. Yes, it does. And that affects a lot of things. That affects how you, how you feel about him. You know you've done wrong. You know the devil's had a good time with all of this. Oh, That's absolutely. the other thing. Absolutely. Yes. He loves it when he we lie. He loves it when He's we just lie. Like, ha, ha. Yes. Got him to do it again. Got him to do it again. <laughs> yes. Watch I, this. I'm going to make him do it again. I'm going to make him do it again. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. The yep. other thing that they have talked about here. It says, with any sin, which can be with any lie, you need to call out the action, but not the person. Now we're talking Ooh. about somebody who lied to you. Okay. Like I said a little bit ago, you know, you kind of think something in your head says, wait a minute, that doesn't sound right. Mm -hmm. So you can call out but wait a minute, I don't think that that's right, but you don't call the person a liar. Oh, sure. Right? Sure. That's a hurtful thing, and you just don't want to go there. No, Because no. then you know how it feels if somebody calls, calls you, you that. Yeah. It's terrible. You don't want that to happen. Oh. So anyway, I, I just think just because someone lied once, too, doesn't make them a liar. 
No. It just does not. Then they make a question here. How can you talk about the lie so that you can work towards forgiveness and make things better? If you were the one who has lied, how can you earn back trust? Well, for the first, that's a hard thing to do. It's very hard. Because you're going to have to admit that you're guilty, mm -hmm. that you did something wrong. Right. But that's what you're going to need to do is go to the person that you lied to and say, hey, mm -hmm. I was wrong. I sinned. Mm -hmm. I told you a lie. I told you something that was not true. true. Right. And this is what the truth really is. Yes. And then... Yep ask them to forgive you like we right. talked about before you know yep um yep and that's how you doing that kind of an action will help earn their respect back right if you and, are sincere about it right and you can say i'm sorry again mm -hmm. i'm sorry i didn't mean to hurt you or whatever it was that you were lying about or the person or how whatever that circumstance right i didn't mean like to that. get you in trouble mm -hmm. yeah and that's that's thing the another sentence they have here is one way to talk about the lie is to figure out why that person lied or why you lied. So it's kind of called getting to the bottom of it. Got to do a little investigative yes, work. Right. Put on our investigator Sherlock hat. Sherlock Holmes hat. Sherlock Holmes and our <laughs> magnifying glasses. Yes. We got to figure and out what's going on. What's going on and why did that really happen? Did they really have a reason to do that? Was it one of those little white lies mm -hmm. that sometimes... We all have told them. It's we just all so have easy told to them. just let it. It is, slip. but but there are times too when you have to say kind of like a little white lie to not hurt people in a very bad way. You can easily say to them if they're coming with an outfit on that you don't really care for. Oh, it's okay. Well. Don't do that a whole lot either, because yeah. in the end, that can get you in trouble. Yep. But there's sometimes you have to be careful about hurting people's feelings. It's, it's kind of a tricky... It's a tricky slope. It's a slope. sticky wicket. It is. It's a sticky, a sticky wicket, wicket to, yep. to find yep. yourself in those yep. predicaments. Yep. When they lied, did they really want something? Did they, mm. did they not want to be embarrassed I suppose that's happened before, sure. As a reason, were they scared? Hmm. Then it says three little words, see the lie. So bring it out and say, see here, this is what it is. Talk about that lie and figure out why it happened. And you know what? If you find out the reason for the lie, then it, it'll make, it's, by just discussing it, it will find you a way to forgive each other and to trust to, again. To fix it, and yeah. that's the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm the, thinking maybe you're angry at somebody and you just yes. flat out lie, make right. a lie. You know? Well, I know you did that. Yeah, and you know. And you know you didn't. You didn't know that. You had no idea. No. no. And so there's this person standing there like a deer with the headlights what in the world is this person saying to me? I didn't do that. Mm -hmm. So then it's time to just sit down and, and talk it over. And you know what, kids? That's the same for me. It's, say, it's not, not just, just for kids. It's not just it's kids. It's for Angie. It's for me. It's for Pastor Russ. It's for Clayton. It's for anybody. Everybody. Because we all find ourselves in those situations and we really just have to clean up our act and get ourselves out of it. We really do. And sometimes, yes, there, there are occasions uh, when it's just good to sit down and talk it over. Air and things out. Air things out. Hang it outside. Get yep. it cleaned up. Yep. 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 There are a lot of verses in the Bible that talk about people I mean, what God thinks about um, lying. Mm. Uh, and, and when you get your page, you'll see that too. One is from Psalm 33, verse 4. God's word is true, and everything he does is right. 
Another one in John 14, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. In Proverbs, Proverbs has a lot of good things That's to a read. Smart book. It's, yes, it is. That's a smart it tells book. you a lot of good ways to, to behave mm -hmm. and not to behave. Mm -hmm. Yes. The Lord hates those who tell lies, but is pleased with those who keep their promises. Well, that's pretty easy to understand. Yes. There's, there's no two ways about that one. Nope. That tells me how it is. And then from Psalms, Lord, tell me your ways. Show me how to live. Guide me in your truth and teach me my God and my Savior. And I will trust you all day long. One final thing on this, Angie, is that God knows all of them. He knows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was just thinking, too, as you were reading, I think it was the first one, that we may lie and we may get things straightened out with, you know, whoever we had the problem with yep. or whatever. But we are still sinners. Yes. And it's probably going to happen again. Yep. And we're going to have to keep doing it right. over and over yes. and over. Mm -hmm. we, we are going to try really hard not to lie. Not to, yes. You know, we're going to do our best not to, but mm -hmm. we do sin and it's going to happen. It even happens to grown-ups. Yep. It's as, so, quick, it's quick as happening as slipping on a piece of ice. Yep. That is how fast a lie can come out. They, they just Boom. come out so fast. Yep. And there's, I, I was going to hunt that up too. There's a place in the Bible, I think it's in Proverbs, to control your tongue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. That little tongue can get you in yes. so much trouble. Right. Just remember it's attached to your brain yep. and your heart, so you should know better than to do those kind of things. But, yep, there it is. They have a nice prayer on here, and we'll read that after uh, uh, we're done with our other part of the lessons. But I thought, yeah, okay, that's good. That's good. Oh, and I did my homework for this one too. I was Grandma Jan is you, so good you, at her do homework you, today. This week I was not last week, so I made it really bright because I want to make a statement, and my statement says always tell the truth, always. So there you go. Mine I mean, didn't get colored. <laughs> <laughs> it still makes the thing. But anyway, it's it's. I thought, okay, it makes everything better when you do. It makes you feel like the sun is shining and everybody's got a smile on their face and uh, doing good things on their, yep. their funny yep. little people. But just the same, whoever drew them was kind of cute. And that was fun just to do. So anyway, I was watching a cooking show while I did that. Oh, so I, I figure I, figure I, I did two tasks at once. woo -hoo. Both good. Both good. Both good ones. <laughs> I watch a cooking show if I could. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have time. She was making brownies. Oh. Wow. Who likes brownies? There's even special ones you can make for St. Patrick's Day. Really? That have creamed mint on oh. them. Oh. Nummy. The kids nummy, probably nummy, wouldn't nummy. care for those, but hey, we grown-ups. Nummy, nummy, anyway. Nummy. Anyway, we, we are uh, off the track. We're off the track. I can't imagine how that happened. <laughs> Our train track goes this way, and we go yes, that way. we go that, that way, way, every which way. We need, we need somebody to... We need to, a conductor. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Okay. So now what are we going to talk about? Well, <clears throat> that's part of telling the truth, too, isn't it? It's kind of the other These, half of it. It kind of is. They're connected, without a doubt. This one... In preparing for Easter, we're learning to forgive. I'll tell you what, when we, we've been talking about it, how quick you can tell a lie. The, that, that, and that's a small thing, really. It's a small thing. A lie can be a big lie. Mm -hmm. But the forgiving thing is huge. That, that can be really huge. hard. Yes, it can. Um, you can hang on. Things, when you're my age, you can hang on to things like a grudge. A gr I would say a grudge, yes. Yes, for years. many decades. Years and years. Yes, and um, some things were brought to mind, and, I, and, and they did get cleared up. But by the same token, oh, it's easier to forgive and then forget. And then move on. And move on. Yes, and move on. Is it? So, yeah. You may yeah. not think about it every day, but once no, in a while it'll no. pop once, up and it'll just yes. kind of eat at you again. Yes, and because something, something uh, 
there's a red flag that goes off in mm -hmm. your mind or mm -hmm. whatever, however that goes. But yeah, I get those every once in a while. It's, it's like, okay, stop here a minute and pay attention. And yeah, it's a, it's a thing. They start out with, I, I don't know, it says it's a CEV version. I don't know what that is. I don't know what is. version that is. But this is from Colossians 3, 13. Again, so you kids and whoever's watching knows that Miss Angie and I are just not making these things up. They come from God's word, his Bible, and they're there for us to learn. And so anyway, this time they say, put up with each other. I like the way they say that. Put, put up, up with, with each, each other. other. Get you know? along. And then it says, forgive anyone who does you wrong. Why? Just as Christ has forgiven you. That's the story of Easter, isn't it? I was going to say, that sounds like Jesus when he was on the cross. Yes, it does. After the right. people had been so cruel to him, yep. you know, they'd whipped him, they'd spit on him, they'd made fun of him. Um, you know, they had a pretend trial. Mm -hmm. You know, they humiliated him. Even his friends couldn't his stay friends away. His friends ran away from him. Ran they denied. Away. They knew him. Knew him. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. they put the nails in his hands and put him on the cross and mm -hmm. made fun of him some mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. And you know what he said to, said to God? He said, Father, forgive, forgive them. them. They don't know what they're doing. doing. How, yeah. how? That would have been so hard for me to, <sighs> to be able to forgive all those people that did such awful, awful things to you. Yep. For sure. Wow. Yeah. But that's what he spoke on that first Good Friday. Yep. Yep. Yes. And he wants all of us to be forgiven. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You know, not just certain people. He wants everybody to be forgiven. Mm hmm. Yep. And, and he didn't just say it, no. he really he meant, meant it. it. And there's a kind of a difference there. You can say, ah, oh, I forgive you. You know, whatever. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about no it. No problem. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. That's <laughs> help. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I'm not in the young group anymore. No, 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 no. But all those ways are kind of saying, like, I forgive you, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But did you really? Mm -hmm. Did you really forgive him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Jesus did. Mm -hmm. Jesus did. Yep. And, yeah. Yeah. And if you kind of bring it up every now and then, keep reminding them about what they did, that's that you haven't forgiven them. No. Oh. Right. No, that's when the grudge thing starts, exactly. right? That's, that's when just it just kind of keeps hanging about. on and hanging, hanging on. on. Yep. Yep. Right. And there again, it goes back to telling the truth. It, it, that just keeps gnawing at you. It keeps you... you can't get your mind off of it sometimes and you plot different ways of thinking how you're going to get out of this mm -hmm. and yeah it's not it's not good you need to come clean and get yourself forgiven um the other thing i think i don't know that i saw that in here but that's the holy spirit's job to convict us mm -hmm. you know that mm -hmm. he is supposed he's part of the trinity god yeah. jesus and the holy spirit mm -hmm. and he's the one that's trying to convict us that you need to get this set straight right you need to forgive yeah. just as god forgave you and the more you think about that <clears throat> it can become easier yeah. for you to do that yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it can Yep. It's a lot easier to say, uh, forgive someone than it actually is to do it. Yes, it is. Oh, absolutely. Yep. absolutely. And, and here's another thing. You can say this, oh, I forgive you, and feel like you're the big person in yeah. the room, right? Yeah. 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 Because you've been so good. Yeah, no. You, now, now you've just committed another You sin. just did. Yep. Yep. Of, of pride. Right. And, and arrogance. Yes. You yes. Know. I'm a better person than you because I came first and told you, yeah, bad, bad things to do. Our model forgiveness for forgiveness should be God. And so when we come to Easter, that's how we understand how much it really cost Jesus for all these sins that we keep committing, right? Yeah, just think he about took that. How them much all he, just, there. Just me. How many sins yes. I commit? Yes. 
you know? Over. I, I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but I've, I've committed a lot of sins yeah. in my day. Yeah, as everybody has. And Yeah, and I'm thinking all the people in the world, not mm -hmm. just those of us that are no. here, but all those that lived before that have yes. passed away, and those that will come will mm -hmm. sin. Mm -hmm. And Jesus died for, he took a punishment for all of those yep. sins. Yep, yep. Yeah, that was not, that was not easy for Jesus being on the cross. That was probably the hardest thing he ever had to do. Right. He, was, he it was hard enough that he asked God to, to take to away, away the task him. if he could. If he could, yeah. He knew See, he had to do it. He knew, but, yes, right. That was his job. So if there was if he any did, way that he didn't have to do that, he really, really, really didn't, didn't want to. to. Right, but he did, and so there's that's that's the uh, gold standard, shall we say? Mm -hmm. How much he really didn't want to go to the cross to get us all forgiven for all of our sins, but he did it. But he did it anyway. He did it anyway, and yeah, that's our gold standard, so to speak. That's what we have to do. We have to forgive like he forgave, and not just part of the situation, you forgive it all. And then clean the plate. Like, like when God forgives us, he doesn't think about it anymore. Oh, it's gone. that's the best part, yes. It's gone. It, Don't what, even bring it up again because it's gone. What, what is that phrase? It's gone to the sea of forgetfulness. Isn't that right? Is that in I, a song, Angie? It could, sounds like it a, a song Seems like line. it's in a song that all of our sins because of what Jesus did on the cross have gone to the sea of forgetfulness. He remembers them no more. Yeah, yeah, that's just kind of, um, yeah, good. How many places do you, or, okay, I'm going to ask you, can you give me some examples from the Bible or elsewhere? Let's see, I have a bunch on this page about forgiveness. Do you know anything in the Bible that talks about forgiveness? Well, I think of the parable of the prodigal son that Jesus told. Oh, okay, there's one. Where, yeah. where the one son left home with his money and squandered it and everything. Mm -hmm. And the other brother was, I don't know if that second brother ever forgave the first brother for doing that, though, but, but the father did. The father did. The, the son came back home, and the father was very glad to see mm -hmm. him, mm -hmm. and um, he forgave him for doing the things that he did. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Forgiveness. Um, <clears throat> I believe Jesus forgave Peter for denying him. Yes. When, yes. He, did, when he still, and Peter said he didn't know who Jesus was before he died. Mm hmm Oh, uh, let's see. Right off the top of my head. Okay, I'm going to help you. Okay, good. <laughs> How about the Lord's Prayer? Is there any line in there? Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Or forgive us our sins, sins as, as we, we have forgive been those who sin against us. Yes. That's in the prayer. The Lord's Prayer. So do you think that's important? I'm guessing it probably is if it's in the Lord's Prayer. If it's in the Lord's Prayer, it must mean we have to forgive as we've been forgiven. That just came, I was sitting there, and I thought, sometimes. Those, wait a minute. That's the Holy Spirit working there. Right, it is. I mean, I was thinking about just other stuff, but all of a sudden that came to, to me. Forgive us our debts or forgive us our sins. It's in there. And it goes on to say, as we forgive those who sin against us. I thought, wow, for, for as many times as we say that Lord's Prayer, mm -hmm. sometimes mm -hmm. we need to say it and really think about, think the, about words. the words. Think about the right? words. Because yep. sometimes we just get a we little bit. We rattle it off and yes, go on our way. we don't. They listed, <clears throat> they listed um, a lot of things uh, from the Bible. I will give you a couple of them. Psalm 103, verse 8, it says, The Lord shows mercy and is kind. He does not become angry quickly, and he has great love. And I thought, now how can that, why did they pick that? He could get very angry, mm -hmm. 
with all the naughty stuff that we do. Sometimes the unforgivable, mm-hmm. right? Yes. But, but Psalms reminds us he doesn't get angry quickly because of his great love. Yeah. And that made me feel better. That made me feel better. In Psalm 10 from there says, he has not punished us as our sins should be punished. He has not repaid us for the sins we have done. So actually our punishment should be a lot worse. Right. But it, what we have done. Right. But he's a, a kind God, actually. I mean... And he gave he's a just God, but he's kind. Right. He's merciful. Right. Yes. And he gave those sins to Jesus to take care of. Mm-hmm. That's how that goes. Then you go to Psalm 103 again, and it says, The Lord has mercy on those who respect him, as a father has mercy on his children. He knows how we were made, and he remembers that we are dust. Again, I sat there kind of scratching my head, and I'm thinking, what? Let me read this again. Then I got back to this place here where it says, he knows how we were made. Mm -hmm. So he does know that we are not going to be perfect. We're not perfect. We're going to slip up. Right. He, we are not going to be perfect. And then you go back up there. It says he has mercy on those who respect him like a father has mercy on his children. Any of you out there ever been forgiven by your dad for something you did? Oh, yeah. I remember being forgiven by yes. my dad. Yes, yes. For, my dad and my mom. Yep, really. Mm-mm-mm. How could you do that? What were you thinking? <laughs> yep. 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 So that's, that's, um, yeah. You know, I, as you're reading these, a lot, the word <laughs> kind comes through a lot. Yes. And there's a, a t shirts out there that we see a lot yes. right now that just says, just be, be kind. kind. Mm-hmm. And that, we do that, and that takes care of so many problems. Well, so many I, issues. Wait a you know, minute. Just kind. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Then the respect happens. Telling the truth happens. The okay. forgiveness happens. I thought maybe we might need to bring back something that we had before. Oh, the random acts of kindness. The yeah. kindness always thing. So I was going to do that at the end, but hey, this is working out just fine now. <laughs> I hope you kids are, and, and adults too, if you've got the computer, pop these off. Mm-hmm. I wonder how many you have crossed off that you can do. So the kindness always thing. I wish I had a big, I wish I had a t-shirt with that heart and the hands on there. I love it. Mm -hmm. I really do. So anyway, I do have a a little, oh, it's not a magnet thing that came in, in, I don't know, through the mail. What? But it's, it's kind of a a piece Mm -hmm. like that. But Mm -hmm. anyway, there we go. I'm going to get all confused and I'm not going to know where I'm at. Okay, Angie. How many times are we supposed to forgive? Peter was asking Jesus in front of all of his disciples. So, Master, he's saying to Jesus, how many times am I to forgive my fellow brother? How many times must I forgive him? Do you know what Jesus said? I do, and I think Peter was looking for an actual answer you yes. know, for Jesus to say, 10 times, 10 times is good, and then you don't have to forgive him anymore. Right, well, he did say, Can, is seven, seven enough? Is yeah. seven enough, seven. Peter asked, yeah. But then Jesus said, 70 times, times seven, seven, which would be like 490. Mm-hmm. That's a lot mm-hmm. of times. Mm-hmm. And by that time, you lose track of how many times you've forgiven somebody, right. and you just keep on forgiving. right. Right. So that's what I found in Luke. But then I went to, no, wait a minute. Doesn't matter. This was another verse that I found that felt pretty good to me. So be careful. That's referring to everyone. If any person sins, warn him. I'm saying that must mean talk about it, right? Okay. I'm, I, I've caught you in a yeah. lie. And, okay. Uh, okay. So if any person sins 
And if he is sorry and stops that, forgive him. If he sins against you seven times in one day and says he's sorry each time, we are to forgive him. I don't that could be a long day. That could be a long day. But I don't remember when I went through this, I don't remember ever knowing that, that I, I ever learned that out of a Bible. That's from Luke 17, 3 and 4. Hmm. So be careful. Be careful. Mm. So anyway. Yeah. I, yeah, it just kind of made me sit there for a minute, and I had to rethink things. I did. I did. Then I went to Mark eleven twenty five. When you are praying, if you are angry with someone, which means you haven't forgiven them, right. there's an issue here, right. there's a problem, there's a situation. If you are angry with, for, with someone, forgive him so that your Father in heaven will also forgive your sins. That kind of turned it around to me. If I'm not forgiving, is God I going to... say, does God want to forgive me then? Right. And that I would not like. I would not mm -mm. want to be in that place. Mm -mm. That would not make me. Mm -mm. No, yeah. I. I that would, would feel icky. I would not uncomfortable. Um, it would make me squirm in my seat. It would make me lose sleep. It would make me feel like mm, something's not right in here, right. and my head hurts. <laughs> I need to fix this. I need to fix this. So, I agree. Anyway, yes. Yep. Um. You have something on. Did you did you do the? Oh yeah, yes I did. In oh, colors. She had it all in done. colors. Whoa. Yes I did. I'm I just sat by. Right away. I had my trusty little uh, magic markers and watching the cookie show. I can do two things at once. I did like this in the corner. Just uh, can you see that? It, it says, says forgive one another. That's just what we read from Luke. And the picture, 11. it's kind of hard to tell what it is, yes, first, but it's but two look people at hugging. It. Yes. They've got their arms, arms around, around each, each other. other. Yep. Yep. So, yep. And see, there's that I verse. Was, was that <laughs> yeah. verse. That's where it was. That's See, it's yep. right there. Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother when he sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. There it is. That's how it is. So anyway, good thing. Good Just thing to know. Just keep on forgiven. Don't Just keep, keep Yes. Basically. Right. Right. I guess there's some end point to it in a way, but for the most part, I think you're feeling better if you forgive. Yeah, it doesn't feel good. Don't, don't carry that weight. Just don't carry not that weight. It. No, it is not. No. Not worth it. Mm -mm. Nope. Well, we're going to switch gears a little bit. Um, we don't have a, a story to read tonight or a video clip for you, but in case you've noticed what we're wearing, it's a, a special day today. It's St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. and who was St. Patrick anyway, huh? Why do we wear green on March 17th? Hmm. Well, here's a little history for you. St. Patrick's Day celebrates a Christian saint who was named Patrick, and that is not his actual real name. I don't remember. It's a different name. I had it on something, but do you think I might have that yet? Hmm. I know that he was born in Great Britain, mm -hmm. which was England, and he, so he was a, a lot of times, this is all kind of around the Irish, the Ireland, Ireland and the Irish, um, but he was not Irish. So um, he's very famous, and he was important in Ireland, though. Um, he was born in Great Britain, and at 16 years old, he was taken captive and was taken, became a slave. He was kidnapped by pirates. Ooh, there's a good story in there somewhere. And he was sold as a slave. And as a slave, he had to work as a shepherd. And when you're a shepherd, if you remember like the Christmas story, the shepherds are out alone in the fields, 
Not a lot to do, but watch your sheep and keep the wolves away. Um, he was lonely and afraid. He probably didn't like the, the wolves out there or whatever. So during this time, he began to think about God. And he repented from his sin and unbelief, and he turned to God with all his heart. And that's kind of what we've been talking yes, about we have. all these mm -hmm. um, few weeks now. And so Patrick had a dream in which God told him to leave Ireland and, and go along the coast. And he was able to escape, and he returned back to his family. And soon after he returned home, he had another dream in which the people of Ireland were calling out to him, we beg you to come and walk among us once more. So he went to France first, and he became a priest. He studied to become a priest. And then he went back to Ireland as a missionary. And so one of the ways that he helped people understand thing, the Trinity about God, we've talked about this a few times, how God is three persons in one, is we see a lot of shamrocks on St. Patrick's Day because there's shamrocks in Ireland. And he used the shamrock, the three-leaf, it's a clover, basically. You've heard the three-leaf clover, looking for a four-leaf clover. They're hard to find. But it's the three-leaf clover. And basically, he told them that one leaf represents God the Father, one leaf represents God the Son, and one represents God the Holy Spirit. They're one, one leaf, but three different parts, just like God is one God, but he's in three different people. And it's really hard to understand. But yeah, this is in your packet, so... Um, of, your, of your material, so maybe print it off and hang it up. It's, it's a cool picture um, to help you maybe understand that a little bit. Um, I don't have a ton of information about this, but the, the reason we celebrate it on March 17th is because they believe that is the day that St. Patrick died. Oh. In March 17, 1940, no, 461? Anyway, it was, they think it was on March 16th, anyway, that he died. So that's why the green color comes from Ireland. If you've ever seen pictures of Ireland or have been to Ireland, everything seems to be green there. Oh, shamrocks are green, too. Shamrocks are green. The, it's full of green grasses. Mm -hmm. um, they dye their food green. People eat green food. Yeah, these are, these are different things. Bagpipes, have you ever heard the bagpipes? Mm -hmm. Those are Irish. Mm -hmm. um, corned beef and cabbage. Maybe mm -hmm. you like corned beef and cabbage. I do. I am not a fan, so I'm <laughs> not making that for supper tonight. Well, you're not Irish, so that's the that's whole thing. This is true. This is true. I'm not either. So, so <laughs> and then there's the the little legends of the little leprechauns that hide gold and things like that too. Those those are fun little things and and the rainbows and all that stuff. Um, I read somewhere's that. The White House was, the ar architect of the White House was from Ireland. Oh. I did not know that. I did not know that. No. Nope. Um, and here it says, the fountain in front of the White House is sometimes dyed green in honor of St. Patrick's Day. Well, don't they do the river by Chicago? Yeah. They, they, turn, they dye the water green, green in the river? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So put some green, green food coloring in your milk tonight for supper or whatever, and your eggs, maybe have green, green eggs, eggs and, and ham. <laughs> I don't know that. But, but it's just a little fun thing. Um, there's a lot of festivals and parades, but that was St. Patrick. And here's another picture you can color. It's March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. He was a saint. He was a minister, a missionary. I mean, he was an actual life person. And again, it has the, the clover or the shamrock down there with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And again, I'm, try, I'm trying to drill this home. Can you tell? Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This says, just like the leaves on each shamrock I see, there are three parts to the Holy Trinity. First is God the Father, then Jesus, his only Son. With the Holy Spirit together, they are three in one. Oh, how clever. Isn't that neat? Yes, it is. So there's one to color. Appreciate there's that. a lot of coloring things tonight. Um, Oh, oh, this is fun. Oh, there's a word find, too, that also has that little saying on. This is fun. This is a green scavenger hunt, if you have time to do this. Maybe not tonight, but maybe some other time. Um, 
the verse that ties to it says, he makes me lie down in green pasture. Wink, wink. Psalm 23, verse 2. And here's what you have to find. Find something that grows green. Oh, what would that be? I would say grass. Grass. Leaves. Find something soft that is green. Maybe a pillow or a stuffed animal or something like that. Find one snack item that is green. I'm M&M. Thinking, oh, you went, you went that way. I was thinking healthy, healthy and going with celery. Oh, <laughs> okay. That Name works. one animal that is green. Salamander. A frog. A frog. And then you have to find something hard that is green. Hmm, something hard that is green. Maybe the siding on a house, a green house. Um, a John Deere tractor. There you go. Uh, there, yeah. That would be hard, yes. And you have to name a fruit that is green. Lime. Lime, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. A green apple, Granny Smith. Yeah, yeah, those are good. Mm -hmm. Find something you play with that is green. I'm thinking Legos. Yeah, they'd have green Legos. Mm -hmm. They'd have green. Find something you can color with that is green. Color with? I'm thinking colors or markers, markers or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Find something you can build with that is green. Lincoln logs. Yes. Find something on a wall that is green. Clock, maybe. Clock. Well, you know Picture. what? I can tell you a story about what I had on my kitchen wall one time that was green, and it wasn't supposed to be there. Uh-oh. Have you ever seen those little tiny green tree frogs? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I had, my cats were going berserk one day in the kitchen, and I couldn't figure out why. And then I look above the cupboard. There's this little frog stuck up on the top of my what wall is he up there. Doing there. I don't know, why did but he, he got in twice. Oh, dear. <laughs> There must have been something he was after. I so, don't know. so that was what was on my wall that was mm. green. And find something you can wear that is green. Well, I think Grandma Jan and I both found something green that. in our closets today. That. So, so you take this list and you go find some things around your place for um, green. Or you know what? You could change it every day. Maybe tomorrow find something that's orange. All blue. these things are orange yes. or blue or something Anything. like that. Yep. Yep. Kind of fun. It's 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 fun and it's a good mind game. Yes. It makes you use your brain. You have to think a little bit. It's a bit. good exercise for your brain, and that's that's not a bad thing for people my age either. <laughs> well, and and if you're looking for things, maybe you have your maybe your room's kind of messy, and so you're looking for stuff. So maybe you have to put things away to find these there you things. Go. Woo! You know, a win-win. Multitasking. Mm -hmm. I love it. So. I love it. Yes, I do. So that's all I have on, on uh, St. Patrick's Day, but I just wanted to share with you that, that there is a Christian uh, basis to that, yeah. to that holiday. So. Yeah. And we don't think about that, and no. that's really not said anywhere, is it? No, no, it's no. all the leprechauns and the, and yes, the you know. Yes, right. The green. The pinch, if you, if you don't yes, wear green. If you, if you don't have green, you get pinched and all this kind of thing, which is kind of silly, but Lucky. it's harmless. With, everybody it's talks okay. about luck, but yes. you know. With, yes, yes. With, with God, we really don't have luck. We, it's, no. it's, you know, God's got no. everything all planned out. Yes, so. yes. Um, Before we go, I showed you the thing that we did last time about showing respect. I hope you've paid attention to this, too, the ABCs. Just admit that you have sinned, believe God's promise, and confess that you accept God's gift of salvation. That's the ABCs, kids. That's as, that's as easy as it can be. The story of Easter right there. So it's a good way to remember it. Good way to remember it. So I just have one more thing before we go. Okay. All right? Okay. Okay. You can tell somebody you love them in many different ways, correct? Correct. You can bake them a special cake, or you can do all this kind of stuff. I'm thinking of, I can hug the people I love. I can, I'm going to have to lay this down. Maybe you can do that. Make your hands into a heart and tell them that you love them that way, okay? But you know how Jesus did it? Do you know how Jesus shows love? Well, he had to die. He did this. He put his hands out on the cross. He did this. 
So that's how big his love is compared to the little heart or whatever else we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Just a little thing to remember um, as Easter's coming, as yeah. Easter's coming. Yep. So anyway, it's probably time to go. So it's probably time to say our goodbye prayer. They had one on here that um, normally I just say it, but I like this one. So will you just fold your hands and close your eyes with me? It says here, as you prepare for the coming of Easter, pray this prayer to God about telling the truth. Heavenly Father, your word is right and true. You are faithful in everything. Jesus, you even called yourself the truth. I searched my heart, Lord, and I know that you hate lying. But you are a friend to people who are trustworthy. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth, for you are God, my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. Amen. Amen. Yes. So there that is. The other thing they did have on here was for people to make a bookmark. Mm -hmm. If you want to take the time to do that, they didn't include one, but they just said, if you want to help yourself remember the forgiven thing, make yourself a bookmark. On one side, write forgive mm -hmm. and turn it around. And on the other side, write forgiven, yep. like we have at the front of the church there. Mm -hmm. So bye until next time. It'll be here before we know it again. It goes so fast. It goes so fast. and it's um, crazy. Yep. God bless each one, and let's hope that um, we have a good week. Yeah. We have a good week. Yeah. It does make me wonder what's going to happen, because most days we get up anymore, and we're not sure. No. no. <laughs> but, hey, the robins are here. I saw one today. The robins I are did. back. So, so that's, that's a good sign. That's the promise of spring. That's the promise, promise of, of spring. spring, and we're going to keep having all of those kind of things. We're going to see green grass pretty soon and uh, budding of the trees and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, Have goodbye. God Have bless. Love you all. <laughs>